so we found it now, so it's yeah. hanging there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? I don't know, he's sitting there. See you once in the Come on, dog. in this first event of the season.
be still. No more. She's not in there. See Tiffany. I found the button this time. Don't let me fall.
Well, let's take a look at the pairings as we will advance into the semifinals. Jim Head and Kenny Bernstein. Kenny with a whitewash job last year. And it's going to be Bruce Sarver going off against Larry Dixon. Sarver, the new look Atsco machine. And Dixon. Bye. That show's recording. Okay. Bye.
guys. Oh, yes. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not that tall. Be still with me. Daddy's ready. It's all right, Tiffy. What happened? Nothing. Daddy's getting ready to race. Oh, watch him. No, it's Daddy. It was to kick Jim Yates's butt from one end of this country to the other, your former partner. Well, that sounds a little revengeful. I don't think I'm quite that. We're just here to win races. We got a great group of guys. Got the greatest family in racing. Great companies involved. Jeff Taylor and I mean, what more can you say? Not a whole lot, but he didn't really say that, Bob. Jim Yates in his 37th final round appearance in the Coughlin kit. Two of the last three races, he has gone to the final. Let's take a look at the way they will match up. Hey, Jim Yates beat him once last year. You never can tell. Things could change as Coughlin Kid is dynamite on the tree. You know, coming up tonight on TNN, due to our coverage of the Chief Auto Parts Winter Nationals in Fisherman TV, and Bill Dance Outdoors will be seen later tonight. In Fisherman TV comes up right after the race at 9.30 Eastern. Bill Dance Outdoors will be seen at 11 p.m. Eastern, all right here on TNN Outdoors. Joe Amato got to spend a lot of time outdoors during the offseason. I mean, it's tough to be poor. Here's what Joe did. Yeah, I've never really been uh, into Europe at all, and, but driving a factory force when you can go as fast as you want, when you can drive down this Autobahn 150 miles an hour legal, and after a while it gets to be like it's slow. I mean, I'm used to going 300 and a quarter mile, but 150 going around roads, that was a real kick. Hi, I'm Joe Gibbs of Gibbs Racing. You know, no matter what you drive, or how you use it, or where you run it, use dependable champion spark plugs because Champion offers top performance, superior strength, and added reliability. That's why at Gibbs Racing, we use only Champion spark plugs in all our engines, no matter what we drive, and you should too. Receive free Champion truck plugs with the purchase of Champion truck wire at participating auto parts stores. We asked some of Hollywood's hottest stuntmen to try Degree. What's body heat activate? As your body heat rises, Degree releases extra protection when you need it most. Uh, I heat it up, and it cooled me down. I was on fire, and I was dry. Body heat activated Degree. Your body heat turns it on. What's the best part of a caramel apple? If it's made with Hershey's Classic Caramel, it's the caramel. Introducing Hershey's Classic Caramels. Traditional or chocolate cream filled. The only caramel good enough to eat all by itself.
Hi, everybody, and welcome back. First of all, a little bit of Did You Know stuff back in 1981. Lots of hot stuff going on. Brad Anderson, first of 24 career wins and many of national championships. He was certifiably hot. Let's take a look at some of the crowd there as they get set for the finals. They will join you in watching those finals in just a little bit. The funny car semifinals. Going to be some great matchups. It was Dent to Wilkerson, Tony Pedregon, and Ron Katz. And let's see how that all played out. Gary Dentum in that AAA of Southern California NEC communication solutions machine would try to solve the problem. Posed by this guy, the John Costanza Institute of Technology. All new race car, owned by John, driven by Tim. A couple of four second shooters right on the starting line. Something's got to give right here. We'll have our first finalist in the fuel class in just about five seconds. Academic, Denton smokes the tires and Tim Wilkerson with another very good run, 503. 257 miles an hour as he goes in to the championship round. The Purple Gang would take on the winner of the Castro Ford team of John Force, Tony Pedragon in the leathers, and Ron Cap, the Copenhagen MBNA car. Monster matchup right here. Force gone. Round number two. Tony won the race here at the Winston Finals. Cap's been absent from the winner's circle for a while. Oh, baby, a lot of smoke. Look at Cap's. Harries the front end, brings it back down, and goes on to get the win. Wasn't pretty, 592. He gets the win and goes into the championship finals against Tim Wilkerson. Great job. Let's get down there in the pitch now and catch up with Dave Reed. Well, Bob, believe it or not, in a post-race interview, Ron Kep said that was fun. I don't know about fun, but uh, when you get ready to go up against Tim Wilkerson, another chance at a, at a final. Yeah, we're, we're glad to be here, and I don't want to sound cliche, but, uh, you know, uh, it's just it's one of those things where it, it, you figure force is going to be in the final and all these guys step up and start running four second runs and uh it's good to see wilkerson in the final but hey we're just glad to be here and, and roland's uh, he's got some tricks up his sleeve this is definitely the most consistent team over the last half of the season early this year remember steve they did not qualify a year ago here well tim wilkerson is mixing a potent brew for ron caps you know you had a nice 503 in the semis but only 257 miles an hour oh man steve if you knew how fast that thing was to the 330, it was 400 quicker than our 494. That thing killed the clutch by a hair. We're going to fix this thing. They're not ready for what we're going to hand them in the finals. They are running just a little bit late because they had to change engines. Get going, guys. Tim Wilkerson, runner-up at Indy to win Baysmore last year. A chance to pick up his first national event win in the fuel funny car category. They've only met once. Ron Katz got the win right there. He is the AAA of Southern California Road to the Future Award winner from last year. And, hey, what a way to start out 1998. So the championship rounds in the funny car and the pro stock have all been set. We'll take a look at how they go in the finals in the top fuel category when we come back. CNN's exclusive coverage of the 38th annual Chief Auto Parts Winter Nationals is brought to you by Mopar, Chrysler Corporation Parts, and the Chrysler Plymouth Dodge Jeep and Eagle dealers who sell and install them. Parts for Pro Stock and your vehicle. Get real. Get Mopar. Team Mopar. Parts for top fuel dragsters and your vehicle. Get real. Get Mopar. No matter how old your furniture may be, keep it looking young with Pledge with cleansing conditioners. For beautiful wood you won't get with regular dusting. Pledge for beautiful wood every time you dust. Hi folks, Roland Martin here. And coming up later today, we'll show you how to improve your fishing skills and a lot more on this week's show, Fishing with Roland Martin. Catch Roland tonight at 10 Eastern on TNN Outdoors, home of the experts. Fasten your seatbelts. This music's gonna rock you. Come on. 
and crank it up for this new 33 song collection of hard rockin' hits. Three great rock groups in one awesome collection. Crank It Up is not sold in stores, so order now. Call this toll-free number now for Crank It Up. Two cassettes, nineteen ninety-eight. Two CDs, twenty-six ninety-eight. Have your credit card ready and call now. We'll be taking a look at those semifinals in Top Fuel. We mentioned earlier Kenny Bernstein's one hundred fiftieth national event appearance in a Top Fuel car. He can flat out drive a race car, and he's done a great job. But he will not be. Well, he will be one of those cars we're going to take a look at in just a bit. The 1998 Chief Auto Parts Winter Nationals here at Pomona. And let's take a look at those top fuel semi-final runs. It would be Kenny Bernstein trying to win in his 150th top fuel appearance. And Jim Head, the close call communications machine. Jim Head, who has been doing just a great job with that race car over the last couple of races. Excellent reaction times, and of course, he's got the king, Kenny Bernstein, and the Budweiser King Machine, and the new look Lee Beard engine compartment over there. Let's find out how they would do. On board with the king, you can see Jim Head out in front. That ain't good. You don't need a Sven Golly to tell you that. Jim Head's 467 punched out Kenny Bernstein's 4.70. A lot of smoke there, but they'd have time to get it repaired. It would then be Bruce Sarver and Larry Dixon. Sarver went to the finals at Englishtown last year, beaten there by Kristen Powell. He would like to take out the Miller Lite machine. Don the Snake Prudhomme trying to put two cars in the championship round here at Pomona. One of the tracks that he helped make famous. Great old drag race, Sarver. Sarver, no, Dixon ran him down. 464 for the kid. How about Bruce Sarver, 468? He's gone home with great effort. Let's go to the pit area, catch up with Dixon and Dave Reeve. And Bob, that was the second time he had to run a, a better 60 to get past an opponent. What a fantasy weekend. As we said, 60s. Dale Armstrong, great job all weekend. Yeah, we got our own Pro Bowl going here. I mean, it's uh, it's just awesome having Dale Armstrong tune the Snakes car, and I get to drive it. I mean, what more could a kid from the Valley want? Then you've had the, uh, the offseason. You're getting engaged. Boy, can things be any better right now? Oh, with a gold man in my hand, it would be. That, that's the only way it could top today. I mean, it's just been wonderful. Steve, we'll find out if uh, it's going to be him or that guy you're standing with here in about 30 minutes. We will indeed. It has been a tough day for Jim Head. Every time I have come by here between rounds, he has said, look at Steve, more new stuff. Well, again, more new stuff, including a new motor. Well, as long as it runs good, Steve, we don't care. It's uh, finals of the uh, Winter Nationals, I guess, and uh, we got to see what, what we have for Larry Dixon. You don't have lane choice, I can tell you that. That won't be a problem. It's two-lane racetrack has been all weekend. Thanks. These guys are really busy running a little bit late. Bob Bry, back to you. Oh, they were just going to go up and warm that puppy up. Jim Head in the third final of the last eight races, and that's pretty impressive. He leads that series two games to one, and they will meet for the championship coming up in just a bit. You know, don't forget every Sunday to tune in right here on TNN for NHRA Today. It's a new show every week, plus we'll keep you up to date on all the latest news in the world of drag racing. That's NHRA Today, Sundays at new times at 12 noon, 4.30 p.m. Eastern right here on TNN Motorsports. Well, we know what Snake did during the offseason. He spent a lot of time getting his cars running well and more. Work with the sponsors, getting everything planned, new cars, new paint schemes, new everything, you know. There's a lot to do, you know. People may think that we just take off and uh, go to Hawaii or something, but, you know, it's, it's just really busy now. There's just really no off time, and we take a few days off, but for the most part, we're, uh, we're heavy at it. In our quest for the finest brakes in the world, we tested our pads against other leading brands. With pad after pad, in test after test, the results were always the same. No other brand stopped shorter than Performance Friction Carbon Metallic. The ones we stock at AutoZone.
I'm Ironhead Hayward. I'm used to challenges. And I challenge you to try Zest Deodorant Body Wash. Now, I hear you snickering. But Ironhead, aren't body washes for ladies? Ow! Listen, chump. Zest doesn't have heavy moisturizers. But Ironhead, what's with this thingy? That lather builder works with Zest Body Wash to give you twice the fresh smelling lather of this bar. And it rinses cleaner. So you're cleaner, more refreshed, period. Zest Body Wash. Get cleaner, more refreshed. Get Zest fully clean. Pro basketball star Jennifer Az spends 40 minutes destroying her hair and 90 seconds bringing it back with Pert Plus. More than a shampoo, it conditions too. How? As you shampoo, the conditioners stay suspended. As you rinse, they go to work, giving you great hair simply. Perfect for Jennifer, because she wants great looking hair, but she'd rather be living in it than working on it. Wouldn't you? Pert Plus, simply great hair, simply. I've seen every card there is. Thousands of cards. Super 8's VIP card. It says, congratulations, your reservation is guaranteed, and you get 10% off. <laughs> Life's great at Super 8. There's a medical emergency, but no hospital. What do you do? Build one. Leadership. Learn it now in the Army Reserve. Use it now in your career. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's showtime. The 38th Chief Auto Parts Winter Nationals in Pomona, California. We are set for the finals here on TNN. We will open up with Pro Stock, and it's going to be Jim Yates going off against Jay Coughlin. Yates would seem to be the favorite based on name and reputation and the fact that he is the two-time Winston champ. Here comes the kid Coughlin. A lot of guys have come close over the years. Joe Satmary in 79, Pat Musey in 81, Billy Huff in 96. All got close, but just couldn't quite get over that edge and into the winner's circle. Coughlin will try to stop Jim Yates here in the first final in the pro categories for the 1998 season. Let's go down to Dave Reap and what's it look like from the line, kid? Well, the line looks really good. The atmosphere has come about 200 foot better than it was earlier today. I'll tell you another reason why Jim Yates has got to be a favorite. It's because Jerry Dickel has donned his old good luck hat a superstitious hat that's on the bottom side of it has a mark for all nine wins that jimmy h got last year they were also struggling they re brought that hat back out put it on jimmy h has been running good numbers it will take a monumental effort by jack coughlin uh, to win this thing steve well, I guarantee you, Jim Yates was watching what Jackie Coughlin did to Warren Johnson, that hole shot, and he doesn't intend for that to happen to him. He may not leave with him, but if he leaves within a hundred, a hundred and a half of Jack Coughlin, I think it's all Jim Yates. Great old drag race. First final of the 1998 season. Advantage out of the gate. Coughlin smacked him a couple of hundreds. Here comes Jim Yates at the top end of the racetrack. Winner Jim Yates got him by two thousandths of a second. 6968 197 the speed beat a 698 for Jake Coughlin and that's one of the reasons why you just can't beat NHRA Winston drag racing the pro stock cars two thousandths of a second a dynamite win for the split fire peak Pontiac and Jim Yates who came from behind to win the championship last year out in front in the catbird seat right now and it could be a long year for the rest of the boys in pro stock if Jim Yates keeps running like this. Coughlin had a 418 reaction time. Look at that. How about that nose that we talked about earlier? Jim Yates won this puppy by a nose. And as they say, the crowd goes wild. Let's go down to the and far of the racetrack and Steve Evans. And here is Lisa Schaefer of Chief Auto Parts with what the competitors hope is his only trophy, the 1998 season, but I doubt that. Jim, what a great drag race with that kid from Columbus. Boy, it was close. I'll tell you, Jaggy and them guys are doing a great job over there, and Dick's making a lot of horsepower. But right now, uh, we got this split fire peak Pontiac running pretty fast, and uh, I'm really proud of the crew. Jerry Bickle and Bob Ingalls, Rich Purdy, had just done a great job, and uh, they even make it up for my bad driving today sometimes. <laughs> and let me guess, Bob Fry, who's leading the points? Hey, Steve, we're starting to talk Bob Glidden, Lee Shepard domination now, the way that Jim Yates is running. He is out in front of the points. The kid, Coughlin, number two, W.J. Scott and Mark Osborne round out the top five in the points, and it could be a tough season. Yates, who didn't miss too many beats last year, out on top right now. Great job for Jim Yates and his entire team. You know, a lot of these gangs are going to be going for that Parts American Mechanic of the Year award, too. Maybe that's why Jerry Bickle and Rich Purdy are pretty happy. The 
winner in the Mechanic of the Year from Parts of America could win 75000 this year. We got the Fuel Funny Cars on the launch pad. They'll be coming up next. It's Wilkerson, it's Caps, coming up right here on TNN. So stick around and join Dave Reeves, Steve Evans, Laura Bird, and yours truly for the first Fuel Final of the Year. Hi, I'm Bob Vila. You know, there are a 1,001 cutting jobs around the home. How's it going there, David? This project would be a lot easier if it weren't so hard to cut these gutters. Those tin snips don't have the power you need. That's why Craftsman created the Power Snip, the one tool with the power and versatility to cut everything from metal gutters to plastic, vinyl, cardboard, and even paper. The compound action gives you up to five times more cutting force than standard scissors or tin snips. And the Craftsman Power Snip's corrosion-resistant nickel-plated steel blades give you quick, precise cuts. In the garden, the Power Snip is perfect for all sorts of trimming and cutting projects. Its long, serrated blade grabs textured or round objects like twigs to make pruning a snap. The Craftsman Power Snip also makes it easy to cut tough materials like asphalt shingles, vinyl siding, or outdoor carpeting. You know you can count on Craftsman for quality and durability. And at just $19.99, the Power Snip is a great value. The Craftsman Power Snip is also perfect for a wide variety of craft projects. And when you're finished using the Power Snip, its safety latch holds the blades securely shut. Hi, Sue. It looks like the Craftsman Power Snip cuts that heavy canvas with ease. This project would be much harder on my hand if I didn't have the Power Snip. The built-in spring reopens the blade after every stroke, making long or difficult cuts easier. Looks great. No, oh, thank you. Many cutting tools are limited to straight line cuts, but you can easily cut curves or change direction with the Craftsman Power Snip. You'll never run out of uses for the Power Snip. Made in America, it's a Craftsman exclusive. And best of all, the Craftsman Power Snip is just $19.99. It's one more example of how Craftsman makes anything possible. And because it's from Sears, your satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. Order your Craftsman Power Snip today. Have your Sears or other credit card ready and call the number on your screen to get your Craftsman Power Snip. Call 1-800-653-5995 now and order your Power Snip for just $19.99 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-800-653-5995 now. February 22nd on TNN Motorsports. In a flash, it's over. The first salvos of the 98 NHRA season have been fired. It's like riding a bullet. Now, it's time to lock and load again. The finish line is the target for the fastest drag racers in the world. Catch us if you can. Strap in and turn it on. The Yatsco Nationals, Sunday, February 22nd at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. And it's only on the leader, TNN Motorsports. Promotional consideration provided for and a fee paid by this special offer from Diamond D. If it's the smell of nitro and the roar of the crowd that gets you pumped up, then Drag Racing 97 is your ticket to the NHRA year that was 1997. Revisit Corner McLennan's drive to four consecutive victories with Baysmore's first U.S. Nationals title, the Professor Warren Johnson's big 200-mile-per-hour blast, and all the two-wheel excitement you can handle. From the Winter Nationals to the Winston Final, if it happened on the NHRA trail, it's in this tape. Call 1-800-458-5551 for your copy of Drag Racing 97, the quickest and fastest season in motorsports. It's a must. Oh, man, I'm out of breath just listening to that thing. Hey, you can see the clouds coming over the mountains and the crowd getting set for the finals in the fuel funny car category at the 1998 Jeep Auto Parts Winter Nationals. The Copenhagen car from MBNA and down the Snake Prodome and the Svengali Roland Leong to take on the Purple Gang, the John Costanza Institute of Technology. The boss raced in the federal mogul category here, by the way, today and won a couple of rounds. Should be a dynamite matchup right here. Kick off the 1998 Winston Drag Racing season. Got the potential here to be a dynamite matchup. I like the way that that purple car has been running. It's a four-second shootout here in the final, Steve Evans. This may sound weird, but if they both smoke the tires, and it's entirely possible, it's freezing outside. I like Caps after the driving job he did against Tony Pedagon. If they hook, I like Tim Wilkerson in that purple car to win his first ever national event. Steve, Tim Wilkerson was the last car to come up here on Cap sat up here for just a little while. I went back and talked to big boss man John Costanza, asked him if there was any problems. He said, no, no problems. In fact, the guys are almost a little really, really too loose. Too loose could be good. Uh, earlier in round number one, Tim Wilkerson had a 411 light. That could be the difference here as they've softened up that car just a little bit, looking for a low 5-0 out of the JCIT car. 
Well, the Fuel Funny Car Annals here at Pomona go all the way back to the first Funny Car champion, Claire Sanders, and then it was Larry Rez the year after that. And, of course, it's been Force and Hoffman. Hedrick on here in the 1990s. And this will be a good matchup here. And Tim Wilkerson, who was runner-up at Indianapolis, won his only race out in Heartland Park, Topeka, in the alcohol funny car category back in 1994, taking on Ron Cabs. And this is the Copenhagen Chevrolet Camaro. Fuel final here at Pomona. Steve Evans, Ron Caps gets the win. There's wife Shelly and their baby. Oh my, Ron Caps the Copenhagen car with a 660, 211 miles an hour. And Tim Wilkerson might have gotten close to the wall, got close to the center line. There is Roland Leong. He's the guy that started this whole Sven Gali stuff at the start of the show. Ron Caps gets the win at 6.60. 211 miles per hour and picks up his first win since Sonoma back in 1997 at the Autolite National. Looked like a pretty good move. They strike the tires almost simultaneously. Wilkerson was out in front almost a tenth of a second from another angle. The fuel cars at dusk in Southern California. This looks almost just like the top fuel final right here last year. Wilkerson came so close to the wall and then actually goes over the center line. At this time, it was over. He gets DQ'd. Ron Caps gets the WIN, and the Copenhagen car for Prudhomme gets the win here to start off the 1998 season. Wow. Go down to the far end of the racetrack, and Steve Evans. Well, Ron Cap stopped in the middle of the racetrack. For safety reasons, there are no more turnouts. Our friend Alan Reinhardt and his trusty golf cart has got Ron Caps. I can tell Ron we were standing with his wife, Shelly, and his baby girl, and they are plenty tickled as you are. Uh, I don't know what happened because it was a wild run, of course. You saw that I had to get on and off the throttle. Uh, but as it got near the end, I started pedaling the car again, and it got almost there, and my light came on. So I don't know if he either read it across the center line. I don't know what happened. Here they are, Taylor and Shelly. These are my good luck charms right here. Oh, this is unbelievable. Maybe Larry, can di Larry Dixon could do it now, and guarantee Snake will be happy. Here's the pretty little gold man from Lisa Shaver. Okay, let's go back. What a driving job, man. That is way cool. Let's take a look at the points. That guy is on top right now, and he doesn't want to look back. Little tip of the cap to Tim Wilkerson, that entire crew. Great job. Tony Pedregon, Densham, and Al Hoffman with that 486 shot round out the top five. Well, we got Yates in the winner's circle, Caps in the winner's circle. One more to go. The finals of the quickest accelerating cars in all of motorsports. It's Jim Head in the close call car. He's getting set in the championship round against the Miller Lite car. Can Snake go two for two? We'll find out coming up on TNN. For over 60 years, Mopar Parts Division of Chrysler Corporation has been building a name for itself. The only name guaranteed to perform in Chrysler Corporation vehicles. Dodge and Plymouth Heavy Power Cars finish first, second, and third. On the track or on the street. Big Daddy Don Garment has broken the 270 miles. Always insist on Mopar Parts. Alderman and Jeffrey on finish one. Get real. Get Mopar. The amount of the credit allowable under subsection A shall be reduced, but not below zero, by $50 for each $1,000 or fraction thereof. The government spent 211 days figuring out the new tax code. Exceeds the threshold amount. Something tells us you don't have that kind of time. H&R Block. Someone to watch over me. At Pennzoil, we know brutal driving doesn't just take place on a racetrack. It begins at the end of your driveway. You stop, you go. You stop, you go. If this reminds you of your commute, we recommend you use Pennzoil motor oil. Pennzoil, formulated for today's stop-and-go driving. Morning, Bob. Morning, Henry. Stop, go, Pennzoil. 
clean. Clean is my business. So when I'm on the road, Super 8's my motel. Clean carpets, clean seats, clean. Clean inside and out. Life's great at Super 8. Neutrogena T-Gel Shampoo. Recommended number one by dermatologists. It works. Works on all three major itchy, flaky scalp conditions. The leading dandruff shampoo doesn't. Neutrogena T-Gel Shampoo. It works. TNN's exclusive coverage of the 38th Annual Chief Auto Parts Winter Nationals has been brought to you by Mopar, Chrysler Corporation Parts, and the Chrysler Plymouth Dodge Jeep and Eagle dealers who sell and install them. And by H&R Block, someone you can count on. We've got the final final coming up from Pomona. I love this racetrack. Look at that setting up there. You can see the mountains as the sun slowly sets in the west. I always wanted to say that. Jim Head in the close call communications machine and Larry Dixon. And believe me, these are two of the hottest top fuel cars on the circuit over about the last eight or nine races. This is a rematch of the final at Memphis at the end of 97. It was a pair of 467s. Jim Head stole it on the starting line. His slightly quicker reaction time put him in the winner's circle. Dixon went to the finals at Houston, Memphis, and right here at the Bud Top Fuel Classic. This kid is hot. Brief and Steve Evans standing by too. Let's go to the far end of the racetrack where I'll bet you Cap is getting ready to watch his teammates, Steve. Oh, baby, could this be the first ever double for Don the Snake Perdome and his two car team? You know, I'm going to go back to what I said before. Both these drivers have to be very alert and ready to pedal. They saw what happened with the funny cars. If it comes down to that, I'm right with Jim Head. If they hook, I'm going to go with Larry Dixon because Head has just had an exhaustive day. I don't know if they've got much left. Steve, I've got, Steve, I've got to agree with you. But just as much as Roland Leong is the Svengali of speed for Ron Caps, i got to tip my cap to Dale Armstrong as well, and the great job he's done with Larry Dixon. It will come down to who's going to be able to hook their cars up. That points to Larry Dixon. He's been doing it all day. No reason to think he won't do it again here. Is almost a dead even race and in the top end Larry Dixon pulls it out 475 to a 473 margin of victory one thousandth of a second they were almost dead even out of the gate great win Larry Dixon let's go to Dave Reeve well snake is down hugging everybody Dale Armstrong the first man on his list just looking over that Don Don as you look at those numbers can you even believe the things you see a whole shot win he got him. Your first double, double. First ever, first ever, unbelievable. <laughs> These are the things that, uh, well, you know, we, we just put so much into it, both Copenhagen and uh, and Miller Brewing Company, and it's just, I'm just so proud that, uh, you know, that, we, that the, the team that we have, Roland Leong and Dale Armstrong, Bob Brooks, all the guys, it's, it's uh, indeed a thrill for me. It's something that I've dreamed about. It's amazing how quick 4.75 seconds can change your reaction. What was once tense, now loose. Let's go back to the line. Larry Dixon's dad won this thing in 1970 in a field that included surfer Hank Westmoreland, Jerry the Hunter Glenn, Ed the Beachcomber Johnson, and I'll tell you what, he has got to be so proud of his kid. These two cars off the line almost together, shut off almost at the same time, and look at that, just one thousandth of a second on the starting line, and the Miller Light Gang cannot believe a 475 won this little payback. Dixon wins it on a hole shot. Steve? He almost couldn't get out of the car because his teammate and fellow champion Ron Capps was hugging him half to death. What a drag race with Jim Head, baby. Man, that was great. I love these guys down here like that. I miss that from being on the pit crew down on the starting line. When as soon as you win the race, you get to hug and cheer and all that. I'm down here by myself. I got my Copenhagen buddies hanging out with the Miller team now. I'm digging it. Fantastic win, and how great for the snake. This is great for the snake. And I tell you what, my dad's here this weekend. He won this race in 1970. This one's his right here. Show it to the camera, Lisa. Bob. Don Prudhomme, who won his first top fuel title at the Winter Nationals in 1965, probably hasn't had a prouder day in all of his career. Dixon leads the point. They see the rest of the runners in the top five. It was a marvelous weekend here 
at Pomona, the Chief Auto Parts Winter Nationals. And our Mopar high performer, hey, who else but the snake? Don Prudhomme with wins for his team cars in Top Fuel and in Funny Car for Larry Dixon and for Ron Cab. So a great start to the 1990 eight racing season. I'll tell you, watch out this year for that Coughlin kid in pro stock. He's going to be tough, just like Steve Evans said last year. Larry Dixon making his dad, his team owner, proud here. And a little tip of the cap to Ron Caps, and a nice job for Tim Wilkerson, a great guy that did a wonderful job and came up a bit short here. Don't forget the next race on TNN coming up from the Atsco Nationals out in Phoenix, Arizona, February 22nd, 7 p.m. Eastern. It'll be Laura and Dave and Steve and I. And yes, we'll bring the Sven Gali along because he did such a marvelous job here this weekend. The top fuel racers are now chasing Larry Dixon and the rest of the season will be just dynamite. Hey, experiencecountry.com, your personal source for all things country, from race cars to country stars. Connect the country. Cheap Auto Parts, Winter Nationals, a production of Diamond P Sports and the Nashville Network. The Nashville Network is a service of CBS Cable. Stay tuned. We're going to be catching some big fish on Fishing with Roland Martin. Catch Roland tonight at 10 Eastern on TNN Outdoors. Looking for some tips on parenting? All you do is lecture. Why can't you listen for once? I'm not lecturing. Listen, you are not... Family Answers is a video designed to help families. And it's free when you call this toll-free number. No, you can't Everything have it. Everything you get is not something you absolutely need. It's normal to have conflict. You take a child that's totally dependent, by the time that child will leave your home, they'll be an independent adult. That transformation just breeds conflict. Common mistakes include things like, you never are what you always. First of all, nobody ever always or nevers. If expectations are clear, then the whole conversation gets easier. Follow through is everything. You've got to follow through. Family Answers provides concrete tips on improving communication, solving problems, finding time to be together. Best of all, it's free. It's a gift from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is TNN Outdoors. Al, Ron, and Jim Linder present The In Fisherman the most authoritative multi-species angling network in the world. Oh, 